In this video, I will show you how to transfer from Binance to CoinSpot. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is to go over to Binance and log in. Now, once you're logged in, you need to go over to the top right and go over to Wallet. Here, you will need to click on Find and Spot. You will then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And over on this page, you need to click on the Withdrawal button. The first thing you need to do here is to go over to the coin selector and click on it. Now you need to search for the coin you would like to transfer. So for me, that's Algorand. And once you've found the coin, you can click on it. The next thing you need to do is to fill in the address you want to withdraw to. So to find this address, you need to go over to CoinSpot and then you want to go over to Wallets. Now you'll see a screen looking similar to this one. And here you want to go over to the search bar and search for the coin you would like to transfer. Always make sure to select the same coin on CoinSpot as you have selected on Binance. Because if you transfer your cryptocurrency to the address of another coin, you will lose all the funds you're transferring. So because I've got Algorand selected on Binance, I'll go over to CoinSpot and search for Algo. Now once you've found the coin you want to transfer, you need to click on the open wallet button. And over on this page, you need to go over to the left side of your screen and click on receive. Now because I'm not Australian, I can't verify my account. But what you need to do now is to copy your address. This address will look similar to those of Binance, Qcoin and any other cryptocurrency exchange. So just copy your address and then go back over to Binance and paste your address in. You'll then need to select the network. Now in most cases this network will be selected instantly. And if not, I recommend you do a quick Google search. You could Google something like which network should I use to transfer and then the name of the cryptocurrency you're trying to transfer. So once you have selected the right network, the last thing you need to do is to fill in the amount of coins you would like to transfer. Now you can fill in this amount manually or you can click on the max button to select all of the available holdings. And once you have filled in the amount of coins you would like to transfer, you can now click on withdrawal. Please double check all the information to make sure you haven't made any mistakes and then click on continue. You will now need to go through the security verification process. This is quite easy because all you need to do is to click on get code and then fill in the two factor authentication codes you will receive in your email and on your phone. And once you have filled in the two factor authentication codes, the last and final thing you need to do is to click on submit. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.